is up fam welcome to another adventure my name is omar this is my fiance tiffany the adventure that we're on tonight happens to be one of our favorite types of adventures and it has to do with haunted roads hearing history behind haunted roads just fascinates Tiffany and I and this story definitely caught my eye now right now we're in Louisville Kentucky we found this place right outside of downtown it's really cute I'm excited to come back here during the day Tiffany is too because there's some really beautiful homes but we're headed towards this neighborhood also known as Woodland Hills There is a story that an old woman in her 90s with white hair and black eyes will chase after your car in the middle of the night. And when she gets to your car, she runs really, really fast. She will take a picture. Now, this woman has been seen before by several people. There's also talks of somebody getting into the house where this woman once lived. Now, in this woman's basement are pictures hung up on her wall of cars and teenagers. Now, some people have reported attempting to take a picture of this old woman, and when they try to develop the picture, there is nothing but a white mist. Now, there is a reason why, according to locals, this woman takes pictures of people's cars. Her husband supposedly died in a hit and run, and she is trying to find the person who killed her husband. The woman goes by the name of the Watcher on Davidson. Now, I still don't know what Davidson is all about. Is it a street that is maybe in this particular neighborhood? I don't know. Tiffany happened to pull up the neighborhood on on maps right now and, and we can't find Davidson. But can you confirm that we are in Middletown and we're in Woodland? Yeah, it's we're called in Middletown. Woodland Hills is the name of yeah, middle, oh, go back. the town. Yeah, Middletown. Cute neighborhood. We're gonna spend a little time here. May, we may even park our car and walk around a little bit. But I think us driving around would probably be the best bet if there is a woman. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but maybe there is a crazy old lady that runs after cars. I mean, that has to be really freaky. That I mean, be neat. Well, <laughs> I, I think I'd probably have a heart attack first, but then I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna put this on YouTube, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we're getting ready to turn on the neighborhood now, so. Um, it's already pretty creepy in here. There is a handprint. You see that handprint? Oh. It's like an upside Why down. Why is it that way? I don't know. Where did that come? It almost looks like a skeleton. Look at that. Why is it that way? I don't know. That's weird. So it's like. <laughs> yeah, it's all weird. Oh, yeah, this neighborhood is really cool. Look at these beautiful homes in here. Wow. Worst crimes happen in the nicest neighborhoods. Well, I mean, this is not really. Um, hey, I mean, you ever watch The Purge? I feel like yeah. at the end of every purge, it's always the houses, the neighborhoods that are like the really nice houses where it's all the you know the rich folk. They like, yeah, highest bidder, let's go kill the highest people. <laughs> well, the hit and run situation, you know, that was supposedly done in this neighborhood, and the person was never found. We may do a spare box too. Whoa. That is a pretty, I don't know, I just, I find that house so pretty. I love the brick. Kind of reminds me of our old house with the brick. I'm gonna film quite a bit. You just never know. We may not notice this like ghost or this woman, ghostly woman, but you may notice, you may see something. Now here's where the story gets a little creepy. According to locals, this woman that really did live and she lost her husband and she would take pictures of people's cars she died 20 years ago and this is still happening till this day all right we're almost to that way you should film outside the whole time just in case okay in half a mile the destination is on your left oh davidson wait oh, i just seen it you just seen davidson yeah where'd it go hold up well you really did i did it popped up on the thing hold on we're, oh. we're gonna get closer and it's gonna pop up again a bit. Well, that's Brightfield, that's Marengo. Hold on. Wait, wait. Where'd it go? I just seen it pop up. It's one of, it has to be one of these streets. Oh, look, this is the actual neighborhood Woodland Hills. Okay. Okay, we're in the neighborhood right now. Davidson, right here. David. Oh, okay. So let's go on that street right. and not 
this other one. I say we should go all over this. Well, if she's the watcher on Davidson, then that's where I would assume that she's watching is right. Davidson. It's a really nice neighborhood. I can hear like you hear that? What is that? It's like a heli. Maybe some coyotes or something? Alright, so I'm gonna go left this and then is, I'm gonna ride all the way down. Okay, this is Davidson that we're turning on right now. I mean, they say it's everywhere in this neighborhood. But this is, uh... What was that? I just heard like a male, a male's That's voice. How come that didn't pop up on your phone? I have no clue. Thanks a lot, Google. I see we just drive around this entire neighborhood. Right, well, I'm just gonna drive from this end all the way to the next end of Davidson first. This is starting to make some sense, okay? This is a really small community subdivision. And some of these neighborhoods, most neighborhoods, you shouldn't drive over 25 miles an hour. So what if this woman would chase the cars she would have she would chase the cars so you're saying i need to speed um i'm not saying <laughs> for you to do that what, I, what i'm trying to say is that she was chasing cars that were going fast now i'm not I'm not saying to break the law don't do that but maybe if she's out here she's out here watching anyways like what's the speed limit in here it probably is 25. I wish I knew which house it was. So this is the other side of Davidson. I keep hearing like a man talking or something. That whole thing about going fast was just a theory, by the way. I mean, maybe she would chase every car. I don't know if it was a whistle or a scream. It was coming from this way. I mean, even if we don't see an old woman in her 90s chasing after our car, it's still a cool story. Yeah, it's just, I think it's fun looking up like urban legends and. Yeah. What? There was a lady over there, and all I seen was her up against her garage, and the brake lights were on her, and she was just standing there. But I think she was like guiding a car in. <laughs> this looks really scary, though. Hey, look. Go straight ahead. Oh, what is that? It's like a gazebo. This definitely feels like a place an elderly woman would spend a lot of time. Cool. Yeah, it's like a little park. It got really cold out. It did. It's the temperature 68. It's out of nowhere right now. Now here in Kentucky, they are, you know, it, it's in the middle of the fall right now. The temperature just does fluctuate. I had some people tell me that it was really, really cold. And of course, I come up from Florida and bring the warm weather with me. There's no coyotes out here. Really funny story. So the other day, Tiffany and I, because we, we spent a little bit of time here in Kentucky, but we were doing this video outside of a mall in Louisville. It was a very busy, like, I mean, it looked like city life. It was no woods. And she looks over in the corner of her eye and she's like, oh, somebody lost their dog. <laughs> I get all excited because I love dogs. She loves dogs. And we drive up on this dog <laughs> and it looked like a zombie dog. 
we were like, it's a coyote. It's a coyote, and I have a whole video on it. That it felt so bad though, because it was like so like timid, and it was like he was looking scared. like, what are you doing? But right. just can't get with this. Probably just looking for a little dog to eat. Probably, or maybe he was looking for some like scraps from the little restaurants that were there. Do you think this was here like 20 years ago? I just want to make sure there's no bats or bees. Oh, right. Yeah, I think that's probably for acoustics. Like maybe for. Oh, what the heck? It's a spotlight. It's like a center. Mm -hmm. I think people come over here and play the guitar. Maybe like bands come and play here. Why don't we drive around playing the spirit box and see if we could find... I, I kind of feel like the woman lived on Davidson Street because... Well, that's what she, It's called the Watcher. The Watcher on Davidson. So she had to have, like, run out of her house and start chasing. I have a better idea. What? Why don't we drive down Davidson and just keep snapping pictures. Oh, like take some pictures? Yeah, and see if we see any white mist or blurs or whatever. I'm not sure if this area is haunted at all. I just wanted to share some of the story, but we may find something that is completely different when it comes to hauntings here on accident. So that's why I do want to kind of scope out the area. So one thing Tiffany and I love to do with our iPhones is uh, we'll just snap pictures like in complete darkness. Um, here, let's come over here. Really hope there's no coyotes out here. I hear they're pretty savage, especially here in Kentucky. I think that's a great idea though, like maybe while we're driving, snap some pictures. Yeah, and let's do that because that's what, you know, the legend says is that they'll drive down and try to get, you know. Pictures of the old woman. Right. But they say that they never catch her. Even though their eyes see her, they never catch her in a photo. Instead, they catch a white mist. Right, so let's drive and let's see, see if, if we can catch a white mist. Exactly. Let's do it. Okay, that light turned on in that gazebo. I thought at first that it could have been a motion sensor, but it it's on. I mean, maybe it's a motion sensor that stays on for more than 10 minutes or so. Oh, no, I didn't see a motion sensor. Tiffany and I are looking back at some of the photos that I took in that little garden area. All I kept saying to myself is, wow, like my iPhone takes some really nice pictures in the dark. Like it looks like five shades lighter. But I zoomed into this one picture because I seen a white blob. It looks like somebody's standing it there. It looks like there's somebody standing. Look at that. And that was, that was right back there. It? That looks so wild. Like... Zoom all the way out of that picture. Oh, wait. I know what it is. Whoa. It's the top of a bush. Is it? Yeah. It doesn't look like no bush. Look. There's a couple of them. So there's one here, one here, one here, and one there. Okay, Tiffany figured it out, and I'm glad she did because I was about to start walking <laughs> through that, that garden with or without her right now in the dark to take some more photos but yeah it does now that i'm looking at it and i just brightened up the photo a little bit more it does look like some like some hedges or something so, and, bam. like just bam. It almost looks like daylight, but it's not. It's like <laughs> nighttime. It's so weird. Don't go over 25 miles an hour. I mean, that's what might make her run out and chase me. What if there's kids playing outside, though? They should be in bed. <laughs> True. <laughs> I'm just snapping a ton of different pictures. Just a little bit ago, Tiffany did see like an older woman outside, but she could have just been curious as to who we were. Does she have white hair? No, she was like standing against her garage. Okay, so she didn't have like short white hair. No. All right. <laughs> I'm going to have so many pictures to delete off my phone later. <laughs> All right. We now, look like weirdos just taking pictures. We definitely look like some people that the place should be called on. Yeah. We'll go over here and we'll park and we will 
look at our pictures. I'll do that. Yeah. You know, for being a subdivision, it's pretty dark in here. Like, there's barely any street lights. Like, there's just one on the corners. But, like, the roads are pretty dark, actually. We should ask what her name is, like, on a spirit box. Because there's, like, she doesn't have a name other than the watcher on Davidson. What is that? What? What is what? Oh, it's a flashlight. See, somebody, is somebody running with the flashlight? There's somebody running over there, and then there's a car coming, too. Maybe it's just somebody jogging. Oh, oh somebody's, oh, it's a bunch somebody's of kids. running. Oh, okay. We should ask them if they know the story about Davidson. I know, right? This is a part of the neighborhood I did not see. Oh, cool Christmas lights. Can Are we still in the neighborhood? Yeah. Okay. This is a dead end. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see a sign that said dead end. I just hope it's not dead. <laughs> what was that? You heard that? <laughs> the, like a lady screaming? Wait, Earth? did she just say slow down? Is that what they said? I don't know. It, uh, now that I'm like thinking about it back on it, I'm like, wait, is that what she just said? What was that? Like, I'm not even. We weren't. Were we going fast? No. I think a neighbor or, or maybe made. She said, "Turn around." Turn around. I heard something. Oh, that was creepy. I'm sure you have it on your camera. Oh, oh shit. shit! What the f was that? A little baby curb. Tiffany's okay. just. Uh, it's all right, we're fine. We're Tiffany good. just ran over a, a curb right now. Didn't die, but maybe the tire almost did. No. Wouldn't be the first time that, that, you, what? that you cost us a flat tire. Should we go back to the video and see who was driving? <laughs> Everything's your fault. That's fine. I'm just kidding, baby. <laughs> Everything's my fault. What the crap was that? Oh. oh my god. <laughs> That's my spirit box. That's my spirit box. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> well, we hear the tap in the back, and then that, oh yeah, I wasn't ready. I want to see what. What that tap was? Can you, can you tap the car again? Woman on Davidson, we want to know what your real name is. What is it? In the car? Are you in the car? In case you're wondering, no. No. Tiffany's actually looking through those photos yeah. that we just took right now. Can you be seen in any of the photos we took? So. Some. Some. One. And one picture. Yeah. I keep hearing the back. Are you in the back? No. What was your name again? <laughs> Mom, did you hear that? Did they call you mom? Were you the mom of the neighborhood? Yeah. Is something else in this neighborhood? Wait, it just said David. It sounded like it said Davidson. I thought I heard that too. We're a couple streets away from Davidson. When was the last time you chased down a car? Did you hear that tap on the windshield? Oh, I keep hearing stuff back there. No, there was a tap on the windshield right now. Maybe you didn't hear it. See? I heard it something back like, there yeah, now. It sounds like it's in the car. Is it raining? Yeah. Look at the windshield. Okay, it's not it's not raining. So I do have my spirit box app running to the car. That's why it's a little bit louder. You can plug these up the speakers. So in my case, I have it hooked up to the car speaker right now, which is really cool. Does it look like somebody 
is in front of your window. And it looks like there's somebody at their window right now, or like their front door. Are you watching us? Like, wondering what we're doing. Yeah, I think they're just a, just a neighbor, like, just like looking at it through their windows right now. Drive off this road. Okay. <laughs> did, did you hear, don't leave us? I said, don't again. Can you tell us what road you're on? Anyone? Huh. See, it sounded like I said it again. I'm looking at this neighborhood, you know, like from the maps, and it looks like actually a pretty big neighborhood. We did find Davidson though, and you can see this is this is where we're at right now. That's Davidson. Can you show us where your house is if we pass by it? You want to go back to Davidson? Yeah. I said, get out. Did you hear it? I get out. You don't want to get out? In the middle of this road? I think it'd be fun. <coughs> Mommy? Uh, it's not. Oh, wow. What? Look at that person walking. Oh, wow. Yeah, there is a person walking. <laughs> that just looks scary. Or are we just seeing a person walking right there? But they're just, they're just chilling. They're just walking. Like, doing normal people stuff. <coughs> Did that just say look at the ghost? Yeah, it did say that. Don't move. You can see right there, it does say 25 miles an hour. Davidson is right here. Oh, it says be kind. Um, Do I go left or right? I think I said right. Left or right? Pick. That's what I thought I said. I'd say go right. Okay, let us know where your house is. Watch her on Davidson. A lot of little whispers coming through. Oh, here. They said here. But I'm looking. Right do these houses have basements? Yes. Where? They're, yeah, look, they do have basements. Oh, wow. They're like walkout basements. There's a basement there. I do see it. So, okay. I don't know why. I feel that like that house doesn't, house. though. You, doesn't those two do. So these two I, are. Oh, wait, that one does too. It's something about these roads or this street right no. here because they're like walkout basements. Because that's what I was about to like debunk the whole thing. Like, wait a minute. Yeah. There's no basements here. That's a good point. This house right here has a basement. See? Yeah. But are you saying the houses on the left don't? It doesn't look like it. Or at least not all of them. I think we're starting to look a little suspicious. All right, yeah. Here. We don't want to freak out any neighbors. They probably got the neighborhood watch on us. <laughs> you think they have a neighborhood watch? Probably. I know most of these places I'm do. pretty sure that house, the one across the street with the green light, that didn't have a basement. So when they, they said, said here, here yeah. it was more than likely that house with the basement. You want to like haul butt through here? See if, no, I'm just kidding. Oh my don't God. do that. Don't break the law. And I'm not, if you happen to be in Louisville, Kentucky, and you come here, do not go fast or anything just to see that woman. This is a neighborhood, and plus it is illegal and you could get arrested. I mean, if you're going over 25 miles an hour in a residential area, especially these neighbors, like they'd probably get really upset. I'd get upset. So that's why I'm gonna have respect and not do such a thing right now. I didn't really get any vibes from there, really. Other than the couple taps. Yeah, that was about as far as I think the extent went of it. Yeah. It was fun though. It was fun. It was fun telling the story and sharing it. You're not always gonna catch things. For me, it was about coming to the neighborhood, sharing it with you, sharing the stories. I mean, Tiffany even loved the story. I thought it was a cool story. Yeah, it was really intriguing. It sounds like something out of a movie, to be honest. Like, I mean, if it's just that, an urban legend, because most of these are, like, who makes these stories up? Yeah. Very creative stories, by the way. Well, it's just like some of the things that you hear from like, um, for example, like at Waverly. Right. You know, they, they tell you, most legends start from one little grain of truth and then it turns into ooh, 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 ooh. that's the guy that i seen walking a little while ago why did he just stop he just stopped and he's like looking around now that guy yeah what if okay 
I'm just putting it out oh, there. That's the guy that died in the hit and run. Yeah. <laughs> so Tiffany saw this old man walking on the side of the road. I may or may not have caught him on camera, but it, I mean, it looks like an, an old el elderly man. And which is kind of odd because I mean, it's super late right now and you don't, you don't really see many people, let alone elderly people or even children walking at nighttime in the dark. So that's kind of weird to begin with. Maybe he's a night, you know, a night person like us. But what if that's the man that was involved in the hit and run? We don't know. We don't know. That's what's a mystery. But still, this was a fun video. I'm glad you could join us. Big shout out to Tiffany for being here. And big shout out to you if you smashed that like button and are subscribed with all notifications on so you do not miss my uploads. If that's you, you're awesome and I love you. Before you leave, give me a kiss. Peace.